Sometimes naked edges can be really painful to prepare the file for the 3D printing. Today I'm going to show you five scenario how to avoid the naked edges. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi, welcome to the PJ Chain Design channel. Today I'm going to share with you my tip of how to avoid the naked edges. Tip number one, you always want to fit it first before you boiling them together. So let me show you what I mean here. They are two shape right here and we can simply just using the bowling union together and if you decided you want to fit the edges you're going to coming over here and with the fitted edges depends on how big of your fitted edges is i'm going to set it up for two for example and simply just choose every single edge there and click enter and realize this it's going to give you a lot of extra surface now this is of course is the fit edge is too big and if we go and do it again and this time we change to one for example and again we're gonna choose every single fitted and we click enter and that will be done but probably one or a little bit bigger than one is the most that you can do how can we do the fitted edges larger without the naked edges is you always want to fit it first before you boiling it together so for example I'm going to do the fitted edges and let's change the radius to 3 and we're gonna fit it all of this first once they are filled and that's bowling union together so then you can have a bigger fitted without breaking or getting an extra surface to create a naked edges scenario number two a lot of the time when we do in the fitted edges or we are doing the chamfer and we creating this kind of the naked edges stairs especially whenever it's a sharp turn so let me show you how to avoid this let me did it all of this and this is the curve that i starting to making the surface so going with the surface you have sweep one tool you go here as a rail cross section and then you get this right and if you use the cap command you can make it into the solid a lot of time when we want to do the fitted edges or chamfer in this case and we can simply just say i want to do one and simply to choose everybody there and we click ok and notice that you will get this hole i will show you in the next video how to fix the naked edges if you have one but the best scenario is to avoid the naked edges so let's go back one step when we pick up everybody you also pick up the curve right in the middle right there and sometimes if you have a seam they will pick up the seam as well just make sure that you do not want to pick up those two and you click enter then you will have a very nice fitted or really nice chamfer over there let's go into the scenario number three a lot of time we're doing the surface we trim here trim there and recreating the surface and we got a surface something like that if you look at the render view you can notice that this too is actually is the same surface but sometimes we've been tri trimming a lot and we will leave it like that so this is what happened if you try to fit the edges and you want to have something really small let's go back to one and let's click on here and if you only select half of them because it doesn't select all the way to the end and then you will have something like that oftentimes you need to remember you need to select all the way to the end to avoid something like that so sometimes when the thing is really small this is the example is kind of big there but when thing is really small what I like to and I know then they are flat in the sense so I'm going to explode it this one I'm going to delete this surface and delete this surface so I basically want to explode it, those curve and create a straight line from this point to this point and I'm going to use the command surface from 234 curve so let me pick up this longer curve this curve and this curve so then if i join those two together and try to do the fitted edges on this longer one and i will have a last problem there so this curve is no longer there so a lot of time in the model sense you have to rebuild the surface to avoid to having the naked edges before you even fit it 
In the scenario number four, let's say we sometimes do the project and I have a curve right there and projecting to this surface. So after that, I will have a curve on the surface. Then I try to creating the solid on this surface by creating a cross section, for example, something like this. Let me move it right in the middle and rotate it to about 90 degree here. This is will be the best angle if your cross section facing the rail that is going to go, then you will have a better surface. So basically what I like to do is using a sweep one rail, I click this as a rail, this is a cross section, and I will have something like that. Make sure you click on this on trimming meters, and so that will have this shape here. All right, so then we have this shape and then we can using the cap command and to make it into solid. And a lot of time, if this, your model just finished right there, that say this is the text and then you want a bowling and that may be fine, but if you need to have a fillet edges, this is what happened. We are going to click on the chamfer or fillet and I'm going to pick up something for one, which is really small. And we are going to pick up here, here, and hit enter. Then it will be hard for you to fit it even though you have enough surface. So sometimes it's hard to find out why the fitted is not working and probably because they are not really uniform. To avoid this naked edges happen or potential naked edges, what I will do is go back to the beginning. So at the beginning when this curve is flat, let me mark it into the red color so it's easier for you to see. When it is completely flat, I wanted to offset this curve into whatever thickness I want. In my case, I have 1.5 millimeter and I wanted them to do on the both sides. So then I will get this one. So after I get those two curves, I'm going to close them by using the line. And simply, I'm just going to join them together. So let me making a copy for the surface and let's go ahead to hide one of them. So to having this one coming into the surface instead of project, I'm just simply going to trim the surface that I have. Next, let's go ahead to offset this one. So we're gonna use the offset surface and I'm going to set it up the distance for two and both sides equal yes and let's click on that. And if you need to fit it the edges or chamfer with the chamfer for one, and we want to pick up this one, those four, eight edges, and hit enter, and we will have a better result like that. And the reason you see a simply a little bit twist is because that follow the surface that we are hidden. So this will avoid to having the naked edges when you try to do the fillet or chamfer. Scenario number five is the most obvious one. Uh, apparently, if we're looking at this box right here, and you can looking at the property, it say open polish surface. And then you will see, it's hard to see where it is. And then so the best way is coming into analyze, and then you coming into the edge tool and you wanna show edge, and it will show where it has the naked edges. If it is in the case you cannot rebuild this one, I will show you a video in the membership how to fix the naked edges. But at this point, we want to discuss how to avoid it from the beginning. So let me delete this one and let's take a look on the original curve. So if you zoom in into the those point, you're going to see those two are not touching. So if you're creating a surface and um, based on that, then you will, that will be your naked edges. It is really important to have your old snap on and make sure your endpoint is on in this case and we can click here and here and make sure the endpoint is snapped. A lot of the time if your old snap is not on and then you think you get it really really close even though you're zooming a lot and then you get it really close like this coming out and get it really close like that. You feel like they are actually touching but if you zoom in they will never touch in guarantee. So my suggestion is always turn on your old snap. In this case, make sure the endpoint is on. And then so when we create this one and we join it together, make sure right here on uh, your property show is a closed curve. So coming to the perspective, if we are creating the solid from this one and this will be a closed 
extrusion so there will be no naked edges in this case so i hope this five scenario will help you to understand the naked edges more and how to avoid them more video and technical solution is on my membership program hope to see you there thank you for watching and see you next